Sunday, April, what is this, April 10th? Mm -hmm. Yes, April 10th. Um, we launched here at the pond. Um, we're going to be going out the channel here. We're going to be going uh, <coughs> over by uh, the Kissimmee River mouth. We're going to actually pass over the mouth of the Kissimmee River and fish on the uh, on the west side of the river mouth try over in there I heard some good things about that area so we're gonna try over there but uh yeah we can get over there try to catch some stuff um, I forgot my hat cam today so we're gonna have to hold the, the camera to get everything but uh yeah we'll get out there and catch some stuff we we'll get back to you first fish of the day Little, little pounder. <laughs> I caught him on my uh, green pumpkin seed uh, shad pattern. Uh, gambler cane toad. As you can see, he uh, ripped my legs off. I caught him through the bulrush over here. So, but decent little guy. I'm gonna let him go. Get back with another one. Those are all white pelicans right there. I'm gonna try and get a little closer. There's probably a good 20 there. No, there's like 30 or 40. Sticking together though. <laughs> Getting a lot of fish. Oh, son of a bitch. Alright, guys, I finally got number two in. I wish I would have gotten that on video though, because that was a nice. Uh, Switched over to uh, Strike King's uh, Rage Toad. Uh, it's coffee scent. Be back over here into this nasty stuff. Pull out this nice little one and a half, two pounder. But, uh, yeah. Gonna let it go now. And it's off. Alright, get back to you with another one. They're all splashing around back there. All right, we'll get you back at you. you uh, oh, you almost jumped in the boat. <laughs> <laughs> Want to talk about your greedy bass? Look at the size of that bass. Look at the size of my bait. <laughs> oh, he's peeing. What the? I don't know why I always catch the bass. That Love to pee. Yeah. And it's on that coffee scent uh, rage toad again. I, mean, this, I don't even think this guy's a pound. Maybe like eight ounces. A little, a little squirt. A oh boy, he hit that frog and jumped out the water like he was a, a ten pounder. <laughs> Let him go here. Yeah, he's off. Yeah, we made it over to, it's like a, a little 
pond area. Kind of like the other pond I always fish, but a lot bigger. A lot more grass and stuff. Not very active. But, uh, yeah, we're going to fish this a little bit more, and then we're going to head back out to the main lake area and fish along the outside edge. But, uh, yeah, I got, uh, what was that, three for me? Mm-hmm. You got one? None. None yet? All right, so we got to get her at least a fish for today. We haven't been fishing since last Sunday, and, uh, uh, oh, no, we went to the pond. Last okay. Sunday, she caught two, I caught one, so at least this week I'm beating her. But we're going to get her a fish. We'll get back to you, though. <laughs> All right, guys, we, like, literally just turned the camera off from me catching my fish, and Tina starts... Her frog, she or skinny dipper, she threw off there. So it was sitting out there. She starts reeling in, and this fish goes crazy jumping out the water. She had a fish on while I was just sitting there. <laughs> while she was filming me, the fish decided it wanted to eat her skinny dipper. I believe she's using a chartreuse Houdini skinny dipper. <laughs> this one hey. I think is smaller than yours. No, he, he actually looks like an ounce or two bigger than mine. Cute little guy. See, told you, we're gonna get you a fish. Alright, All right, so now it's three for me and one for her. And we didn't even move, leave the spot yet, so. <laughs> I anchored us down here. We're gonna sit in this area. Airboat over there. Yeah, we're gonna got some weed line here. I fish that. Got some bull rush out here a little bit, and then full of hydrilla. It's patchy, then it gets clear, then patchy, and then clear again. But we're gonna keep trying. Yeah, this is this is the area. Only one little channel to get in and out, and that's over here. But, decent area. It's kind of shallow right now because the lake's low, but uh, I imagine once the lake water goes up, this place would be a lot better. But, uh, alright, we'll get back to you. I got my frog sitting out there, so I need to get it in. Maybe I got a fish on. But, we'll get back to you. Guys, I got number four here. Still on that uh that coffee scent rage toad. Uh, a little pound and a quarter maybe. Um not too bad. That's number four. Um, show them, show them what we're fishing with. Uh, tons of pads through here. Uh, pads, hydrilla, um, weeds on the edge. A lot of good fish in here. But, uh, but yeah, I let him go. Um, so we're gonna keep getting at it. See if we can get some more. It's four for me, uh, one for Tina. She just had a, a decent one on, probably about two and a half pound right here. Come out the water for her frog when she went over to pad. But uh, yeah, we're gonna stick through here and fish this out. So uh, we'll get back to you with some more. All right, Tina's got her second one on here. She had to fight for this one. This thing was buried up in the grass. She broke it loose though. <laughs> I think that one's smaller than your first one. Yeah, we got a fish loose in the boat. Call for reinforcements. <laughs> yeah, he's little. 
Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely smaller than your other one. Hold on, let's turn him this way so it looks bigger. <laughs> Put him on the bed. Swim, my little friend, swim. <laughs> All right, we're still in the same, same area. Yeah, I told her to switch the native shiner and look what happened. She gets a fish. Yep, we'll get back to you. <laughs>